Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Container ships, without a doubt, rank among the most substantial investments undertaken by companies. The construction of these maritime giants requires billions of dollars, making it an exclusive venture for only a select group of ship owners alongside a handful of designers and shipyards. Such an immense investment, coupled with the challenging environment where containers operate, implies zero-tolerance risk. As a result, from the early stages of the shipbuilding process, naval architects and engineers input all the factors that might have an impact on the ship and its load and thoughtfully design each inch of the vessel. Key aspects like hull geometry and the midship section coefficient are intricately calculated to optimize hydrodynamic efficiency, reducing resistance, and enhancing speed and fuel efficiency. To strengthen the ship's structural integrity, modern designs incorporate a torsion box, allowing the ship to counter twisting forces induced by waves deftly. Additionally, container stowage is optimized to maximize cargo capacity while maintaining weight distribution. With cutting-edge technology, simulations, and modeling tools, these engineers cruelly test the ship's design, seeking the perfect harmony between form and function. The vessel's main dimensions are assessed on a miniature scale, enabling designers to visualize the ship's behavior and physical characteristics before actual construction begins. Among the most common ship testing facilities are towing tanks, where experts create controlled environments to evaluate hydrodynamic behavior and estimate hull form, form parameters, and basic curvature while testing stability on a rough scale. However, towing tanks have limitations related to transverse motions. To overcome this, maneuverability and sea-keeping tests are conducted in large facilities known as wave basins. With their wider girth, wave basins allow ships to freely perform all six degrees of motion, facilitating sea-keeping tests like roll decay, heaving, and maneuvering experiments such as zigzag, spiral, or turning circles. These comprehensive tests provide invaluable insights, enabling engineers to refine ship design for enhanced stability and maneuverability in real-world sea conditions. Once the vessel is approved, the construction of these mammoth ships commences. The process begins by shaping the ship's structure into sections, involving cutting and sizing large steel sheets, which are then shaped under tremendous pressure. These curved steel plates are welded together to form sub-assemblies, which are subsequently assembled into larger sections. To streamline the construction process, the sections are transferred to the dry dock, where they are positioned on keel blocks allowing for precise alignment and welding.
After the structure is assembled, the vessel is painted, coated, and fitted with the latest exterior components. such as rudders, propellers, and anchors. Only one test separates the ship from her owner now, sea trials. Conducted in open waters, sea trials assess speed, maneuverability, stability, and overall seaworthiness. Shipbuilders and crew collaborate to monitor every aspect of the ship's operation, ensuring it meets safety regulations and design specifications. Following the successful sea trial, the ship obtains certification and is ready for her maiden voyage. This stowage will be fully loaded with containers, transporting millions of dollars of cargo. Similarly to vessels, containers undergo thorough tests to evaluate their reliability. The Convention of Safe Containers, or CSC, plays a pivotal role in setting international standards for container safety. Testing involves rigorous inspections of containers to assess structural integrity, durability, and adherence to ISO TC-104 standards. These standards cover aspects like dimensions, design, materials, and handling procedures. Various tests are conducted to ensure this box is able to withstand the stress and forces they may encounter during transit. During this assessment, containers are subjected to heavy vertical loads to simulate the pressure they might encounter during stacking and transportation. Some container manufacturers might use weird yet tough tests to assess this aspect. The loading and unloading of these containers involves a set of handling equipment, with gantry cranes serving as a vital link between the ship and the shore. For seamless port operations, these heavy-duty lifting machines undergo rigorous testing. One notable test is the load test. During this test, companies might use water load bags and straight point load cells instead of an actual container to evaluate their lifting capacities. Load tests vary from a few kilos to more than 100 tons, another notable. Additionally, Line level and span crane gantry surveys ensure precise alignment and optimal functioning of the crane. At bustling ports and container terminals, Towering gantry cranes take center stage, efficiently moving containers between ships and trucks. With an impressive lifting capacity of over 60 tons and the ability to move horizontally and vertically simultaneously, STS cranes guarantee the pickup of all containers, regardless of their position on the deck.
highly skilled operators maneuver these cranes, orchestrating a ballet of precision and timing. On the ground, straddle carriers and reach stackers nimbly transport containers to designated stacking areas, carefully optimizing space and ensuring easy access for retrieval. The port of Long Beach is one of the world's busiest seaports, acting as a U.S.-Asia trade gateway. It handles container operations with exceptional efficiency and scale. Long Beach container terminals are meticulously designed to optimize space, efficiency, and accessibility. Utilizing cutting-edge technology, containers are strategically placed in well-organized stacks. This ensures minimal handling and swift retrieval. The container yards are typically divided into designated sections, each catering to specific container types or destinations. Automated straddle carriers and reach stackers precisely position containers, creating stable stacks while maximizing storage capacity. Additionally, the terminal's layout incorporates smooth traffic flow and designated lanes for trucks and equipment, streamlining the loading and unloading process, reducing delays, and enhancing overall productivity. Speed is essential to efficient shipping, so clients can get their cargo on time. Pursuing the fastest ships in the world have been driven by two factors. First is competition. The fastest a ship can get to its destination, the most competitive it is. Second, technological advancement. In the early 20th century, steam-powered vessels like the Blue Riband winning RMS Mauritania set speed records, establishing a benchmark for transatlantic travel. With the advent of diesel and gas turbine engines, the focus shifted to military applications and hydrofoils. exemplified by the record-breaking Soviet K-222 submarine and the Boeing jet foil. In recent decades, high-speed ferries, such as NCAT Francisco, broke records as the fastest ship in the world. NCAT Hull 069 can travel at an incredible speed of 58 knots, nearly 67 miles per hour, or 108 kilometers per hour. With its impressive speed and stability, the vessel demonstrated its ability to reach a record-breaking speed of over 57 knots. The sea trial allowed engineers and operators to thoroughly test and optimize the ferry, ensuring it met rigorous safety and operational standards. Built-in NCAT shipyard, this facility stands as a cutting-edge construction hub dedicated to building the world's fastest, most efficient, and environmentally clean high-speed ships. 
The shipyard's commitment to revolutionizing maritime transportation begins with its in-house design, where advanced materials and streamlined designs are harnessed to achieve record-breaking performances. Upon finalization of vessel and contract specifications, the shipyard meticulously prepares a construction hub to ensure on-time and budget-compliant builds. The construction process commences within a 4,000 M2 plate job, where nesting plans generate and cut plates for upcoming vessels. To streamline fabrication, a purpose-designed construction hall prefabricated components, including significant machinery. Large modules are assembled within the hall before being efficiently transported and seamlessly positioned. In CAT's two construction halls, Wilson's and Coverdale's, spanning 820 feet each, house the construction of large, high-speed vessels. As the vessels take shape, just-in-time manufacturing ensures the timely arrival and installation of crucial equipment, like water jets, engines, and ride controls. The ship's interior fit out commences before the vessel is finally sealed for delivery. These construction practices contribute to the development of groundbreaking vessels that redefine the standards of maritime transportation. Ships that are not only fast, but also environmentally sustainable. As the shipping industry evolves, a focus on speed, efficiency, and sustainability remains paramount for seamless global trade and cargo transportation. That is the end of this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.